Codfish, the most popular beatboxer missing for over a year. Where did he go? Absolutely no one knows. You can see by these TikTok comments here that everyone always thinks I'm actually Codfish. Or at least my beatboxing sounds like his. You actually sound a lot like Codfish, to be fair. So what did I do? I made a new Valorant account, called it Codfish, and went into some Valorant lobbies. Would I fool people or would they see straight through my lies and realize that I'm in fact not Codfish? I guess we'll find out. Round one. The codfish, he asks. The beatboxing champion, question mark. Now, having never lied before in my life, I thought I'd tell the truth. Yes, sir, I said, that's me. How you doing? Is it really you? Are you beatboxing for them? Naturally, my answer was met with some doubt. To prove to them that I was, in fact, codfish, I had to play the best I've ever played because everyone knows that codfish has hundreds of hours on CSGO. So I stepped up. <laughs> Uh-oh. Fucking nice. Thanks. Now that I had proved myself, I thought I'd step it up a notch and invite him back to the lobby. The real test was about to begin. Do you want me to show you a beatbox after this game? And of course, he replied with, Yeah, I'm down. Boom. Hook, line, and sinker. Woo! I quickly sent him a friend request, and this is when I was put to the test. There was a couple of problems I was thinking about now that I was inviting this man back to the lobby. One, I don't sound like Codfish. Two, Codfish is a better beatboxer than me. Three, I don't look like Codfish. Would he actually believe that I was Codfish? This is what happened. Hello? Does that sound like Codfish? I don't know. Can you hear me? Yes, sir. No, this isn't, this isn't you, is it? Straight away, it seemed like he was starting to guess that I wasn't actually Codfish. So I quickly started to beatbox. <laughs> I walked a lonely road, the only road that I have ever known. Don't know where it goes, but it's only me and thou out alone. I walked alone and I walked a... Oh, fuck me. That's insane. <laughs> Did I pass the test? Thankfully, the beatboxing convinced him. He was getting reeled up and he didn't even know. Holy shit. <laughs> However, then he asked me what I was doing later. Now, what are you up to now? What kid have you got going on? Um, <laughs> it was time that I showed him my true colors. Unfortunately, I'm not actually codfish. Um, I'm not and, okay, just close. <laughs> I'm pretending to be codfish in Valorant lobbies and seeing if I can get a couple of reactions. <laughs> no, that's sick. No, no, you definitely, you definitely fooled me. Thank you. Because no, you're you. playing, you're playing way too good. I was like, okay. <laughs> no, you got me with that. I was like, fuck <laughs> off, that's him. Yeah, I think you noticed like straight away when my voice is different, right? Yeah, yeah. And, and I was like, ah, shit, what do I do now? I guess I just beat voice, right? Yeah. <laughs> He was nice. He was such a nice guy. He was such a nice guy. He was really lighthearted about it as well. Even though I was pulling him, I was pulling him along. I was pulling him straight through the mud, dude. And then it was time for game two, which in my opinion was even better than the first game. Round two, fight. Now the plan for this game was to get a quick beatbox reaction right at the very beginning. But as you can see, it didn't turn out that way. Little did I know that me getting cut off by the game would actually help me out though. Just watch. Yeah, I'm, I'm a kind of a little gobsmacked. Like, the, it, it, this isn't the real codfish, surely. Babe. Did you not hear him beatboxing at the start of the game? Am I going crazy? Little does he know, I just got cut off. Now we were playing Spike Rush, which is the first of four instead of first of 13, like we were playing in the first game, which means I only had two more rounds to get a good reaction out of him. So I had to go fast. <laughs> Running down the hallway. You can't stay here. Take me under your wing. I said, baby, you better kneel before you talk to a king. Alright, this can't be happening. You better kneel before you talk to a king. Bro, you're actually just insane. Like, you don't understand. I went through a phase where I'd only watch your videos. Like, holy. We got him, baby. We got him. <laughs> I'm getting roasted. Bro, that's actually... Oh, I'm actually mind blown. Bro, I don't want it to end. Oh, bro. It was actually an honor. GG's. Good fish, bro. I love you. <laughs>
And that was the story of Codfish joining Valorant. But you might be asking, why didn't I invite him back to a lobby? Well, he went offline as soon as the game was over. I even sent him a friend request and he didn't accept. So Female Magnet Max is forever going to believe that he was in a game with Codfish. And I'm not going to tell him. So Female Magnet Max, if you're watching this video, I apologize. I'm sorry. But oh, bro, your reaction was god dear, dude. Let me know which reaction you like the most. Game one or game two? Down in the comments down below. And make sure to subscribe if you like this video. I spent so much time on it. It would mean a lot. See ya.